In this garden though, like, like I was saying with the, the, the seeds, in this garden, there's like about five different plants that you can collect the seeds from to make bread from. So it's, um, come down around this way. These are hybrids, these ones. <clears throat> These have like been cross um, bred, you know, with other finger limes to encourage, you know, the desired traits. So, but yeah. Yeah. that's a good one. Oh. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. <gasps> oh, here you go. Put what? your hand out. I'll just. There you go. It's like um, little Manor. balls. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, chefs like it, did they? Because it's like those little balls. You know, they put it with, you know, it's different ways of um, tasting food, you know what I mean? I suppose you could put it around the edge of a margarita glass as well, you know? Why not? I suppose, yeah, around the rim. You can see they're pretty good use in here. But, you know, adaptation. <clears throat> Citrus don't come from Australia. These plants would land in Australia from, like, the Pacific, and, you know, like, for a storm or, you know, birds poop the seed out of something that's adapted to our environment. But wild finger limes don't look like this. Yeah, wild finger limes are a lot spikier and they're a lot nastier sort of plant. There's They're a couple. Spiking up. So, oh yeah, these are spiking up. Whoa. Yeah, well, that's a protective thing, isn't it? So the yeah. birds don't get to it first. Yeah, it just slows them down, I suppose. If you were to come across a, a, a finger lime in the wild, that's what it'll look like. Okay, and they are these things. You thought the other ones were spiking. These things are savage. So this is a finger lime? That's a finger lime, and it, that's a wild, a, a wild form of finger lime. The one before, though, it's, it's a hybridised form, where they've, you know, selected, you know, okay, encouraged. So I'm, I'm not seeing any nah. limes. You don't see, and sometimes they're hard to see. Yeah, like even the other ones that were hard to see. Yeah. Hard to see. Another thing too is because the seasons this year have been so out of whack, because of, you know, climate change, um, yeah, it's put things just, you know, there's some things that have been fruiting when really they shouldn't. So, um, yeah, but that, that's a wild form of finger lime. And it's a savage plant. And they probably have a smaller fruit. Yeah. So just... The fruits are about that big. When I, and I have seen fruits on this too. But that one there. This is a They've nice... probably been eating them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'd have eaten anything, wouldn't I? <laughs> I've heard horrendous stories about some of the things that I've seen. Lots of spiders on this one. Yeah. The spiders, you know, they watch what's going on. The spiders build webs in places because they see where the bugs are to catch. That's what I love about spiders. That's where you see webs around lights and stuff. You know, they're not stupid. They watch what's going on and they and they go to build their web where um, they're going to get some light. But it's a it's a nice plant nonetheless. What's funny about them too? They like a bit of shade. Most citrus is like full sun, but um, finger limes they like shade. This is the last one I've seen fruit, Ken. It's got little orange ones popped off at first, mm. and they got to about that big. And then, you know, it's been COVID, and I haven't been here for a while.